Welcome to chapter C3 on sustainable supply chain management in the book on sustainability management. After reading this chapter, you will be able to first characterize sustainable supply chain management. Again, we're starting with the characterization, just as we do with many of the other aspects that we discussed in the book. You learn that sustainable supply chain management integrates um, social, environmental and economic goals in all stages of a supply chain, while the regular supply chain management is usually focusing on issues such as quality, time, price, and so on. You'll be able to discuss the relevance of specifically sustainable supply chain management for sustainability management as a whole. And you'll learn that sustainability in um, supply chain management offers really significant levers to improving the sustainability performance of products of companies because uh, the supply chain uh, determines most of the characteristics of the products and here we have most of the social and environmental um, issues that are coming up so sustainable supply chain management and sustain supply chain management as a whole really is a very important topic for sustainability management. You'll be able to illustrate, of course, the challenges also that come with sustainable supply chain management because uh, modern supply chains are extremely complex in many, many, many cases. And that is a challenge for sust achieving uh, social sustainability and, and also uh, environmental sustainability. We'll then move on to to prototypical strategies in sustainable supply chain management, which are often discussed next to each other, but which can be combined. The first one is supplier management for risk and performance. That's the first strategy. That's a rather reactive strategy. You'll be able to explain it and you will learn that supplier management for risk and performance aims at evaluating and then eventually choosing suppliers based on sustainability criteria, not only uh, economic uh, criteria. You'll be able to explain the different steps that come with this strategies and these are the steps of commitment, evaluation, control and development of suppliers. Then we move on to the second strategy of sustainable supply chain management. That's the strategy of um, sustainable or supply chain management for sustainable products and that is a rather proactive strategy. Um, you'll learn that sustainable uh, or supply chain management for sustainable products deliberately tries to um, distribute sustainable products or more sustainable product products compared to others, con other conventional products. And you'll learn that this strategy usually requires close and strategic cooperation between the different tiers in a, a supply chain. One of these elements of cooperation is the idea of decommodizing and you'll also be able to explain that idea of decommoditization along with its opportunities and challenges. Decommoditization means that we're moving suppliers out of a commodity status, being more on eye level with them, um, and that is an important element of this strategy. And finally, you'll be able to discuss how regulation can be a driver for sustainable supply chain management. There's a large number, an increasing number of national and also of transnational regulations that nowadays aim at influencing sustainability issues, specifically in global supply chains. And these will be relevant for uh, companies in the future, even more than they are already today, most likely. Again, this chapter comes with a number of features. The first one is uh, a feature on sustainability in society. It's about modern slavery in global supply chains, a very unfortunate topic. Actually, most people think that slavery is the thing of the past, but it is not. We'll then talk about uh, the article of uh, Stefan Soring and Martin Müller, um, their 2008 article on sustainable supply chain management in the feature on sustainability in research. In this article, they develop these two product typical um, strategies that I just mentioned before. We'll then have another feature on sustainability in society about increasing the uh, supply of more sustainable cotton. We'll talk about the better cotton initiative there. And then we have two features on sustainability in business. The first one is about uh, two companies, Tony Chocolonely and Fair Africa, and their efforts for sustainable chocolate supply chains. 
chocolate supply chains are actually supply chains that are prone to issues of modern slavery, for example, and these companies try to um, move ahead and solve these, these difficulties issues. And then the last feature, uh, as I said again, sustainability in business, that's about fair trade certification as an example of and measure in sustainable supply chain management.